good morning good afternoon good evening viewers depending on time and location you are watching us from you welcome to enlightened tv home of trending news where we publish news on politics entertainment celebrity and metro news great viewers another trending news today youth hoist biafra flags in cross river border town if this is your first time of watching any video in our channel we urge you to click on the red subscribe button below this video and the bell icon beside it to stay updated you are the news in detail the biafra nation youth league BNYL have hoisted Biafra flags around the border town in Cross River State, speaking shortly after hoisting the flag in Ecom on Thursday. The national deputy leader of BNYL Worldwide, Ebuta Takon Ako, regretted that the current government cannot guarantee their safety. It is disturbing because it seems the government under their control cannot guarantee our people their safety. But the governors who are there to serve the people due to selfish and economic interests choose to ignore this urgent need of the people. The group said they have filled the guard vacuum in the Biafran struggle adding that the loopholes have been filled as grassroots activities and mobilizations have positioned them as a multi-ethnic household pro Biafra movement. His words, the whole people of the defunct eastern region, including Delta State, want a regional security outfit in order to protect the people from the deadly killing of the Fulani terrorists masquerading as Hesmen. Today, they have taken an arbitrary decision against our people by ordering a total lockdown of our region, claiming it is in our interest and in order to defeat the wise man's sickness called coronavirus. We know the lies and propaganda behind their coronavirus and today we are here to tell them that they are suffering our people in pretense that they are fighting COVID-19. We are here today as one family, people of different tribes, but one people to set, up, to set us free from mental slavery and to lift the Biafra flag of freedom. This madness is coming to an end as we will not continue to tolerate this lockdown without adequate measures taken to ensure the people do not go hungry. This government has failed and from today onward, we shall do everything to let the person around us to know that Nigeria is a failed estate, he said. The group asserted that they knew and understood the lies and propaganda behind COVID-19, which they described as white man's sickness, adding that they were using it as a ploy to suffocate the people. They described the lockdown put in place by federal government to combat COVID-19 pandemic as a grand plot to oppress the people of the defunct eastern region. Wow, amazing. Um, I would urge at this point uh, to drop your comment. Let's get to hear from you. Don't fail to hit on the red subscribe button below this video and the bell icon beside it to stay updated of all our trending news and updates. Thank you.